Here, Bozeman, an American citizen, had to figure out a way to marry a Canadian resident before they closed the Canadian and U.S. border because of the spread of the coronavirus. MTN's Annie Johnson caught up with a couple to figure out how they chose to get married and celebrate love despite everything going on with the virus. Esther and James Townley originally had to cancel their wedding when they heard the news of the coronavirus. For the time being, we'll just have to kind of see what happens with this whole thing. Esther was a Canadian citizen while James was an American citizen, but the two had to think of something fast when they learned the Canadian and U.S. border was going to be closed. So they decided to get married right away. The sole tie that the Bible describes where marriage is intentionally lived to bring honor some friends and family weren't able to come to the wedding due to travel restrictions, but Esther's parents were able to make it. A week ago, I was already mourning the fact that when the wedding takes place in April, as we thought, we would not be able to cross the border. I could see it's going to close, and I thought, we're going to miss it. And I am so thankful that we're here right now. And despite everything going on, the two were able to get married today. Honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. I do. The couple had to FaceTime family overseas during the actual ceremony, as well as some other adjustments, but the two decided not to let the coronavirus get in the way of their love. And in the presence of God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. The couple is waiting to plan their honeymoon until yeah. things calm down and traveling is no longer restricted. Reporting in Bozeman, Annie Johnson, MTN News. And the Townleys decided to get married two days ago and everything worked out before the border closed.